quite honestly, most women bore me. You know, mm. if they smoke, I'm turned off. If they drink, I'm out of there. Uh, if they're stupid, I'm bored. If they're mean, I'm bored. If they're trying to use me, I'm out of there. So I guess I'm very picky. If they don't work out, I'm not interested. If the mind is lazy and the body's lazy, who cares? You mean working out uh, physically? That's right. Out. Oh, that's if they're right. not in shape. Hey, go be fat on someone else's time. Sure, you would. You would feel the same way because I know oh. you've talked about this. I'm just uptight. Would you ever get married? No. Never. No. Couldn't live with someone? No, I don't want to, no. I don't want to, I don't want someone going like, here's what we're doing today. That, oh, that's, not, that's death sentence to you. To me, yeah. And I'm not, I'm not into some kind of, I hate women thing. Right. Uh, I like my passport and my freedom of will. You're very independent. Yeah. And I really like thinking up an idea and going, okay, the next six months of my life, I'm going to work on this record. I'm going to go on that tour. And, and nobody says to you, you're ignoring me. Yeah. They, 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 I, yeah. And I've had wow. girlfriends before. And I tried every different, like, uh, I'll meet the girl who's in a band so she'll know what touring is about and we won't have that argument. Right. Try that, didn't work. Right. Then I'll meet the actress who knows about, I've got to go for three months over here and be on location, which is how, how I live a lot of the year. I'm on tour. Doesn't work for you. Didn't work because they're actresses, well, the ones I met were crazy how do, you set the, how do you set the rules and boundaries with a girlfriend, though? Let's say, okay, you meet someone, you like them, this and that. You I'm an awful boyfriend. You're, you're the worst. I'm words. not around. Never. No, and like, what, what's priority for me? The work. Like, we're going out tomorrow, we're going out tomorrow. Guess what? My thing changed. I'm, I'm on a plane. I got to go. But what about, yeah, I know. I got to go. And, and, and why would you, I don't, and I don't want to be mean to people, and I don't want to be a dragon or a letdown. So instead of being the, the jerk, I just decided not to burden someone with, uh, I just figured out that I'd rather be on tour. I, <laughs> you know. What a strange life you have, man. Yeah, yeah. It's very original, I'll tell you that. It's different. Yeah. yeah, if you're, you know, be weird, live weird, you know? Weird is as weird does, I guess. Well, you get involved in relationships, you get a girlfriend or something like that, and they realize, it like, fails. what they're getting involved with. They're like, oh, Jesus Christ. Well, it's more what I'm getting involved with, and I realize I can't hack it. Because here's the, the awful thing about being an adult in a relationship, seeking to be an adult in a relationship, I have found. Uh, when I was young, and I was a boy, and I was dating girls, it's boys and girls, and she's an idiot, you're an idiot, and you do dumb things, and everyone cheats and whatever. Then you hit a certain part of your life where she's a, a woman, and you're a man, and you have adult expectations. And you can't be running around being an idiot with someone who kind of wants you to be at the table because they are sincerely giving time of their adult life to this thing that you are doing together. Right. And when you come in still thinking you're in ninth grade, and she's coming in like this is who, part of what my life is, is being with you. I have never been able to answer that in a mature enough way to where I would have been able to maintain it. Cause like say next weekend, if I had a girlfriend, she might say it's Friday. What are we doing? I'm like, Oh, watching me write for four hours. <laughs> and so that's not the way to be. You can't do that. And right. so I can't be a good person person's other half because I'm always the work has always attracted me more than coming home to someone wow like I, I can't stand the idea of someone of living with a person I can do it on the bus because it's Das Boat and we're you know going down the road um, but I, I never would want to like wake up and she's there and I have no <laughs> no aversion <laughs> Look at expression that you just made. <laughs> well, you like look to your right. She's there. Well, it's every day. Here we are together, and right. I'm just not wired that way. Right. I would be a drag. Like you haven't spoken to me in 20 hours, huh? I didn't notice. And I'm just uh, work oriented, and so, and I, I'm not in interested in wasting anyone's time. I'm not interested in being mean. I'm really not into it. And so, I, I'm not the. This woman was hitting on me a while ago, and I said, ma'am, I I'm you call like, her ma'am. That's a problem. <laughs> well, she was very persistent, and I, I said, ma'am, um, I'm like a, a hunting dog. I'm a dog, just not the kind you pat. You know, I'm just not I, – I, I'm just – I'm sorry. Uh, just You should stop. Right. This, She's uh, imagining holding your hand, coming to your spoken word shows, going going to dinner with you, yeah, and, talking and I, about your day, and um, and you're like in front of your fucking crazy speakers and you're writing and uh, yeah, hoping the phone doesn't ring. Right. Uh, 
I unplug it on the weekends, except on Sunday, my best friend since I was uh, 11, uh, 12 and he was 11, we're still best friends. Ian, you ever heard of the band Fugazi? Yes. Okay, well, Ian Mackay, the, the, like, he's my best friend. And we grew up together doing music and everything. And we talk almost every Sunday. And so uh, we've been best friends since uh, the Carter administration. Wow. <laughs> and, and so Ian will call on Sunday. We'll talk for a while. Otherwise, the phone doesn't ring. If it does, I'm like, oh, no, why? why? I thought you liked me. Why are you calling? And so... <laughs> Um, <laughs> I, 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 I thought you liked me. Why are you calling? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, if you liked me, you wouldn't write me. Uh, uh, but meanwhile, I'm I'm contentedly just working away. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Don't do your like you know you know premenstrual thing on me. You know. <laughs> I've noticed that when we all grow older and boys turn into men, it was just kind of du dubious. They just kind of become fat boys. Um, and girls turn into women. The whole relationship changes, you know, because men have a hard time handling their emotions. And as they get older, they become more steady. I'm a steady man. I have a job. I have a car and payments to make and responsibilities. And when women start crying for no reason, men just become thoroughly unhinged. Like, you know, the man and woman, they live together, they're having breakfast, and all of a sudden the woman's crying. <laughs> the guy's like, what's going on? He thinks it's all about, you know, it's all about him. What have I done? <laughs> you haven't done anything. <laughs> then why are you crying? Sometimes I just have to cry. <laughs> why are you crying? I don't know. <laughs> And for men, this makes no sense whatsoever. You don't know why you're crying? No! <laughs> you know why you're crying? Every single thing happens for a reason. You throw a ball up in the air, gravity brings it to the ground. You know why you're crying. You're holding it from me. Out with it. You don't understand me! Bull you don't understand yourself. I am organized. I have all my CDs in alphabetical order. I get to work on time. I know how to fix my car. You are just this emotional creature. That's why you will never be president. That's why we don't let you run the company. That's why you will never drive a spaceship to the moon. Because what you're going to do when you get to the moon, you're going to cry. That's what you're going to do. You're going to cry. You're going to freak out. And you're going to paint something some gay-ass color. You. <laughs> I hate you. Oh, yeah, you hate me. You'll love me in ten minutes. Oh, no. She goes steaming out of there. The guy goes back to his meal like, women, man. <laughs> I really went out there, didn't I? <laughs> anyway. I want a woman who can sit me down, shut me up, tell me 10 things I don't already know, and make me laugh. I don't care what you look like. Just turn me on. And if you can do that, I will follow you on bloody stumps through the snow. I will nibble your mucklucks with my own teeth. I will do your windows. I will care about your feelings. Just have something in there. I want one of them readers. That's what I want. I want a reader. And so you go out with a girl and you're driving. So what are you reading right now? And all too often, well, I'm not much of a reader. I'm not much of a dinner buyer. Get out, get out, get out, get out. But we're, we're lost in the stucco sprawl of L.A. I don't care! But every once in a while, you meet the one who reads. So what are you reading? He asked. The, you know, the date killer question. So what are you reading? Well, I'm in the middle of a book right now. Oh my God, she's in the middle of a book. <sighs> Be still my beating heart. <sighs> so what are you reading? He asked expectantly. <sighs> Nerves tingling, body a quiver. Well, I'm in the middle of this Harry Potter Don't be an adult woman to read a fucking child's book in my car. Get the fuck out! But you want to prove yourself. Yes. This is a, this is a primary motivation. And so I wake up every day wanting to get back at every teacher, every guy at school, every bad boss, who whatever parent irked me. And like every day, I out everything you, man. And that's why like, hey, it's four in the morning. You want to work? Yeah. Like, I'll work in a snowstorm. Like, as, you know, someone I know, like, they go on vacation. I'm like, have a nice vacation. And every day you're getting tan, I'm not quitting. Like, it's ridiculous. It's, I'm an 11-year-old. It's, it's, it's so juvenile. <laughs> and it's, it's not cool, but it, it's I don't, fuel in some way. I don't spray paint your house. Right. I'm, not, I'm not flattening your tire. I'm just right. working. And when someone goes, oh, I didn't get up early enough and... 
get how'd you get it? five of those because i got up at three and i stood outside and i ate this rat tail and i climbed the wall and i got it and i got two of them and um because <laughs> so you could have none <laughs> like I'm just i'm so mad and i'm not you know i'm not trying to get somewhere by stepping on you to use you right. as a ladder rung but you you cling to this this is not something you ever plan on abandoning it's the corner i come fighting out of it's my true north is like oh yeah all Thank right you yeah yeah and, yeah. and I, it really works and it's not like i'm not i would never cheat someone out of something or steal from them but um whoever gets up earlier is going to get it then i just won't sleep tonight <laughs> my anger will keep me awake what, what are you having for dinner this <laughs> i mean that, and that's all i need like you right. say i can't like uh, then i'll just sit up all night 